I'm Jen here with Next Wave Business Coaching. Welcome to another edition of Business Strategies and Tips. So today I want to talk about something that's not really fun to talk about, but we have to get it out there. And that is the statistic that one out of every two businesses fail in the first five years. And I hate to say that and I hate to think about it because my passion is helping businesses create a business that's going to sustain and thrive for years to come. So I want to really kind of dive into that. You know, there's a lot of different reasons why a business might fail. And today I just want to touch on one of them, and that is delegating. So let's talk about that. What does that mean? And even if you don't own a business, there might be some nuggets in here to help you in the workplace. So do you know that one of the top traits of a small business owner is delegating? If you want to grow, you've got to learn to let go. So I'm going to challenge you a little bit, and I want you to think and get real for a moment. What is it that's holding you back from delegating? Is it trust? Is it money? You feel like, oh, I better just work instead of hiring somebody out. Is it control? You know, what is it? And, you know, I get it. When you build a small business, it's kind of like taking your newborn baby to daycare for the first time. It's hard. It's hard to let go. You worry about, oh, are they going to do it as well as I do? Are they going to know what my child needs? Same with your business. When you start to walk away, the first things that come to mind are, are they going to do it as well as I do? Are they going to know what to, how to handle the customers? Are they going to know how to handle the problems? Those are real life situations that come up for business owners when they start to delegate. The thing is, you got to ask yourself, Maybe not. Maybe they won't do it as the exact way that you do it. But is that a bad thing? You know, another top trait of successful small business owners is hiring people that are smarter than yourself. So in order to grow your company, in order to create a business that gives you freedom, in order to create a business that you can sell down the road, you've got to learn to delegate. You have to learn to let go. You cannot be the doer of all things. And I see this over and over and over again with lots of small businesses, and that's how they're getting stuck, and that's how they're getting burnt out. So let's go back to starting small. First thing you have to do is challenge yourself to figure out what internally is really going on. Is it control, trust, lack of money? You know, really dive deep, journal about it, think about it. What is it? Because you can't fix it unless you really know what the root of the issue is. And then I'm going to bring up something that I've brought up before, but it's so vital and so important, and it's a really key tool to help you move to the next step, and that is track your time. I am such a believer in this. So here's my suggestion. For the next two weeks, track your time, all the things that you do. There's great apps out there. One called Toggle is an easy one to use. You can put it on your phone or your desktop. And then I have a five-step approach to what you do with those tasks. So after the two weeks, you're gonna get a report of everything that you do. And then I want you to take time and use my five-step approach to rate those activities. And these are what my five are. The number one is what I call the revenue generating activity. So this is something that's gonna bring revenue into your business, such as networking, sales calls, you know, what I call massive action, not passive action. You're gonna give a number two to what I call profit generating activities. Okay, these are things that are improving efficiencies in your business so that you can be more profitable. Analyzing the company, spending time doing that, and training staff so that they can start doing those things for you. Number three is what I call increase the value of the business. What is this? This is um, like community outreach things. This is marketing. This is skilling up. This is innovating. So that's going to, over time, increase the value of your business. Number four are task-oriented. These are things that are the best way to start with outsourcing, such as bookkeeping, admin, um, cleaning, posting your social media. You know, these are things that um, are really a good place to start letting go. And then number five are just the time suckers. These are scrolling through social media. These are answering the same question over and over. You know, ask yourself, what can I automate? Is there an email that I can start to automate? to get rid of some of these number five activities off my plate? And then how can I control myself from the social media scroll or just the long conversations with somebody that are fun but not really adding value to your business? So 
go back to the basics, folks. Here we are again. But in order to grow your business, you have to learn to delegate. And so I'm going to challenge you to think about what are those things that are holding you back. And then once again, look at your time and where can you make some changes so that you can start learning to let go. I would love to hear back from you. Please DM me or even post in the comments below what it is about delegating that's hard for you. And you know, and I'm going to challenge you too, if it's spending the money to pay somebody, then that's the next conversation of what are you going to do with that time that you free up by what you're paying them to do. Can you make that a number one revenue generating activity or make that free time a number two profit generating? And how much further ahead is your business going to be if short term there's a little bit of pain in paying somebody, but what are the long term gains? So thanks again for listening. I always appreciate it. Love to hear back from you. I'd love to know what your challenge is with, what your struggles are. You know, what are some topics you'd like me to talk about in the future? I'd love to hear that too. In the meantime, I'm here to help you build a better business. I have a six pillar system that I use to help businesses grow stronger and resilient for years to come. So let me know if you have any interest in that and we'll talk to you soon.